and gentlemen, make some noise for our co-main event of the evening. This bout is sponsored by El Recuerdo. Make every moment memorable and drink responsibly. And now, introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a freestyle fighter holding professional record, 30 wins, 42 losses, two no contests. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 144.4 pounds. Fighting out of Columbus, Georgia, presenting Delaney Charles Bennett. And now, introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red a mixed martial artist holding a professional record. 20 wins, 15 losses. He stands five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 144 pounds. Fighting out of Phoenix, Arizona, presenting Rob the Saint Emerson. 108 sanctioned professional combat matches between the two of these as well. Charles Bennett has made a name for himself in BKFC. Welcome uh, viewers on the BKTV app. Cerebral, the St. Rob Emerson. Probably not the word you use to describe Felony. No. You gotta watch for the first few shots from Felony. Extremely explosive. Yeah, Rob's eyes are on. He's attacking with long-range weapons right now. Smart. Kicks, not getting into the hand distance where, you know, Felony is so powerful and able to land quick, explosive shots. Smart, Rob, tapping from the outside, knuckle to forehead. You don't want to get too high on that forehead. These are fragile weapons. Oh, oh step inside kick, or cut kick, as yeah. they say in Taekwondo. Nice. Still has the athleticism. Mm -hmm. You feel that. Rob really was exploring the mixing of martial arts as a young kid. Kaju Kempo, which is karate, judo, Kempo, beautiful. and and boxing. Uh, Rob threw a roundhouse after uh, Felony had thrown his own punch and all the weight was on the leg, was able to cut down, perfectly time it. That's the best time to throw a low leg kick is when your opponent's weight is on there. It's hard for them to shoot and take you down or it's hard for them to bring the knee up to take it on the shin. Already calls them to switch stances. It doesn't take much when the pressure of the foot will touch the pad. The pad press presses to the ground. That millisecond is all a guy like Rob needs. Now Rob will get that jab going again when it's there. I think Rob's doing a smart game plan. You know, he's, you know, he's jabbing distance, throwing those low kicks, and just chopping up. So he's being busy. He's winning the round, you know, scoring. And he's also taking Ooh. down. Smart. This is a game, he's, I believe. He's, he's, Some he's drunken master MMA. MMA. Yeah. The, the right knuckles touched and very convincing. Charles wobbled, and Rob did go forward. These are the games. This is high-level strategy. Make no mistake. Well, and Rob didn't buy it. You know, he came through, looked, maybe he was hurt. A moment. But you can see that, okay, you know, he came in, he came within striking range, mm -hmm. but he realized, all right, you're playing possum. I'll go right back to work, stay disciplined, stay focused, win this race, not by trying to hit a home run, but playing short ball. Charles with the lead right hook. Rob looking to counter right hand against the right kick. Bennett, felony is dangerous still, man. And the hands low, they'll come up from unseen angles. Well, he makes, uses his athleticism to throw strikes that are not efficient to throw in those oh, areas. Time that oh. right hand, great. Rob will really, really unload yep. here. And Rob Smart, jump on him here. It's very hard to knock someone out from your back. So if he could take him down, right now has like a Merkel position, mm -hmm. controlling a half with the inside Ooh. hook. Knee to the belly. Bennett is, is face down right now. 
Well, this is great, Rob. Controlling yeah. him, keeping him stretched out, not letting him get his knees under him. Well, can, it reaches through to control the shoulder as he punches, and now takes the neck. Yeah, but I mean, now he's a bad angle throwing it. Yeah. He, if I was Rob, I would start worrying about getting on top, get that right arm out from underneath, drive his left hip over the top, because if he holds on, there you go. See how he yeah, drove over? He Perfect. Yeah. Now, now he's got it, but he's sliding off to the one side again. Yeah, again, I think he's going to miss this one, too. You're going to see Bennett's going to pull his left arm across. Once he gets that arm across, he's in top position. Rob said Bennett will see, he will cut him, and he will see his own blood. Well, Bennett's seeing his blood, but he's found his way to the top. He swum to the surface, and now he will look to drop elbows. And it was that blood that helped him swim. You're right. You're right. Yep. When you're nice sliding off to the the fence. So, Rob's super experienced from this position. You'll see the feet now touching the ground. He'll be thinking about hipping out, pushing off with the shin, getting back to his feet. Great job of rotating hips to face the mat. Now he just needs to get his elbow back through. <laughs> Great hand control. Yeah. You're going to see him shift the hand down, cut his arm through. That was actually really high level of uh, Bennett to throw that knee yeah. right there in that space. That's the thing, the guy trains with so many high-level people. He's got to pick tricks up here yeah. and there. And so it, it comes in sprinkles in his style. Just when you think that he's not going to be able to pull something off, then he pulls a high-level knee off the clinch. He also allows himself to innovate, innovate in real time. If something is there, he trusts his body to find it. That's what happens with these free-form fighters like this. Oh! He landed on Rob as Rob came in. And C. Rob has been cut for the first time in his career. Is this it, is, is bare knuckle. Or is that uh, Bennett's blood? No, no, he's cut on the bridge of the nose. On the last one, Bennett was wobbling. And really, this is the high level that that is possible. This is the, that high level sensitivity. He could tell that one was real. And Bennett landed on him as he finished Bennett. Hey, good eyes, man. Good, good catch that. Really crazy exchange. When we get a chance to see it again, I'll tee you guys up for it so, so you can walk it through. You'll see, he sees that Bennett is now really wobbled. When Bennett's been selling us the fake wobble all night long, Rob in the moment was able to find that. That's great that he was able to under fire because if he would have ran in on the wrong moment, you know, Bennett has so much power that could be a and, complete turnaround. And, and even hurt, Bennett could land this shot oh, and yes. be damaged. He's dangerous he at all through. times. Bennett actually landed there. Look at the flinch. Fake setting up. There was the low kicks that we saw was really a staple in Emerson's style tonight. This is the one. Now see, they both land, but he's wobbled down. Big. That Ooh, right hand square again. Yeah. Yeah. In That second right hand was the money. Mm -hmm. In both of those exchanges, Felony landed at the same time. They went bullet for bullet. That was a crazy fight. As you come to expect when Charles Bennett's in yes. this. Felony Charles Bennett. Mr. Bennett, please notice I did not say your old name, as requested by you. I, I can't speak for these two, Dan and Frank, but I call him Fe uh, Felony Bennett all night long. Man's earned those felonies. He has. I call him Felony. Yeah, he has, and uh, he's earned a lot of respect. Charles Bennett deserves a lot of respect for what he has done in the game of fighting and what he continues to do in the game of fighting. We appreciate you, sir. We see you. He's not seeing anything right now. He's just chilling, but he's okay. He's just taking wind into the lungs. Well, you have earned the respect of people. Real fight fans, Charles Bennett, know who you are. They know what you are. So we appreciate about you. about 20 stitches in the mirror when he looks in tomorrow. Hey, that's nothing new for him. And Rob Emerson. This guy, is, he's still doing it. He's 40 years old. He's better than he's ever been. He's traveling the world. Uh, he was fighting in Russia in, in the Kingdom of Bahrain. He fought in, uh, in Nottingham, England in the last few years. And here he is, Game Bread Fighting Championship 2, defeated Charles Bennett in a crazy, crazy gunfight. Thank you, gentlemen, for that fight. We appreciate you. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee has called a stop to this contest at 24 seconds at the end of the first round. Declaring the winner 